what was that now? My mind is blown right now. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I just gotta go play now. <laughs> so you used to hit a driver how far? Maybe 200. And now you're hitting a five wood how far? Like 238. Yeah. yeah. How about your pitching wedge? Pitching wedge, got it up to about 140. From what? From maybe 100, maybe 90. 90? So. Yeah, you started yeah, big at changes. You started at 90. Big changes. Can't and wait to use it. And you're an iron 165 and you had a 170. Yeah, like within no time. So. And a cruising thing in no time. Yeah, that was right? awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. So it's worth the trip from Vancouver, huh? <laughs> Definitely worth the trip. The trip to Chicago. Trip yeah. to Chicago, always worth it. So if you were to hit, what would your first move be? Go ahead. Think it real. No. No. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm pulling your body real hard. Yeah. I'm pulling your arms down real hard. Yeah. Feel that tension here? I do, yeah. Now watch. Come with me. Don't move your hands. See where I'm pointing the hand off right in front of me, did it? Mm -hmm. Did you see how there was no pressure? Mm -hmm. See how your elbow touched right here in front of you? Mm -hmm. Maybe like you're gonna throw or something. And from here, you could fire all you want. Except there's one other problem. This here, see it's wide open. Right. Two ways of doing it. Okay? How much does this? Right up here. Your knuckles go down? Yeah. Now you're square. See that? Yep. So Como's unusual. It does that and then just turn it. Just turn it. Mm. Okay. Now you're Como. I do this. You see your fingers? I do this. And just go through. And I flip it through. Okay. So that's what I do. And I'm going to teach you Como. Okay? So you like having it this way. Okay? And you'll feel pressure here if you do this right now. So when you go up to the top and you rock, because this forearm's like this tucked beautiful. Watch. Mm -hmm. So it tucks it yep. to the camera. Yep. So you're here, but this tucks. Now it's in front of you. So if you were to stand this way, and I said, stick them up. You're in the perfect position with your right arm. Okay. okay. Yep. It's in front of you. Now watch. If I turn my back to the target, see where your hand is? Mm -hmm. What a long back swing you had. <laughs> yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. So you put this one down and watch this. Wow, that's amazing. How do you get such a long backswing? It's an illusion. Yeah, okay. Makes sense? Yeah, it does. Doesn't it feel like you're ready to throw at the screen? It does, yeah. I feel like you just feel solid yeah. and loaded and yeah. you're ready to throw with a shorter swing, but you don't lurch from the top if you're going to throw. You would make a natural move this way and then you would throw. But this being wide open, this must be square. And I'm square, I call this palm up. It's really this up. And then toe up. Right. Yeah. Okay. There's other ways of getting it though. So if I'm like palm up, he's like this. He's he's got our our club base, our club sole matches our palm. Just like a tennis racket. He's doing this, but watch. gets dorsiflexion in his right wrist. Yeah, and that closes it. Squares it. It's squares. closing, no, closing's correct. The square, see? So what he's doing, he looks like this, and then he goes like this. You 
can turn your front knuckle down. See? Mm -hmm. All the pros do that. You're not bowing. It's not really bowing. Destin Johnson, they're all doing that. See my club face now? Watch. Yeah. Look at my hands, how far forward they are now. Can you see behind me? Look at my shadow. doing it. So another thing I covered with Nathan is Hogan's angle. That's the triangle formed by the pelvis that you can see there and the knees. Every good player does it. I then showed him this illustration of how to move. Turn in place. Slide your pelvis towards the target. Turn your shoulders. And with my current technology, I can compare Nathan to himself before and after. That's the X Factor. Otherwise, the changes are minor. That's why it can be done so quickly. In Nathan's case, less than 40 minutes. In fact, his X Factor rivals Rory McElroy, who I'm comparing him to here. See, he matches in a lot of areas. But the swing is more conventional than you'd think. So once again, learn what matters. Learn how to properly move. Golf's not hard. If you lose the feeling, you go back up, swing at the, the baseball, late release, let it whip, and then you go back and don't think. Yeah, now here to whip, don't go and hit the ball, don't even think about it, do all the same stuff. You made 160 look silly there. And how do I know that? Because I can hear it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. That is just crazy. Who else in the nation can do that for you? <laughs> no one. I know my stuff. And you need 160? Now you've got one club to cover an entire green, and all greens are 30 by 30 yards. Okay? So start to play golf instead of swing. Now that you got a swing. Okay, you took something off, right? So you came a little over the top because the timing changed on you, but you did it. You put the energy, I told you. Let's see what you did. How about that? <laughs> no, you're perfect. So you did that. You dropped down six miles an hour. Okay? Because you used your athleticism in your brain. So start using it.